<sighs> Here we are again. Good morning, everyone. Had a dream last night. Did you? Yeah, it's was, it was not like good though, but it, it, I know why I, I, I dreamt it. Basically, my phone smashed. Never dream. There we go. And I've been talking about cases for the last couple of days. Mm. And when I woke up and I saw my phone, it was not smashed. I was like, oh, thank God. It's so funny that feeling, isn't it? It's weird, isn't it? It's so weird how your brain can convince you that something was so real. It's like when I've had a dream that let you kiss someone else and I've yeah. woken up and been angry at you for like a day. I know. <laughs> I never get that. It's because you don't get rid of the feeling, but you still wake up with the feeling that it actually happened, and so you just need a moment for that feeling to go away. Yeah, but you should be happy that it didn't happen. That's what I, I'm, I, I wake up if I'm like, say so a family member's dead, and I'm like, I'm, I, then I wake up and I go, oh my God, thank God that was a dream. That was horrible. I know, but you can't be angry at your family for being dead. Yeah, I guess so. When someone's like upset you in a dream, it gives you that feeling of being upset at that person. So yeah. when you wake up, even though it's fine, you still, that feeling is still like your, your stomach still sort of sunk. I had a dream last night. I can't remember what it was. Oh no, I, re I remember. I had a dream that we were burgled. And I woke up at like 5 a.m. and I made sure all the alarms were on. What, you actually, you actually woke up at 5 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, did you? No yeah. way. I woke up because I, I think I, I think I woke up in my dream hearing that we'd been burgled, mm. and I came downstairs and the TV was like everything was gone. Oh and so then I actually woke up at five a.m. and made sure the alarms were set. No way. I feel like I've not been sleeping as well as usual because I'm not exerting the same amount of energy as I usually would during the day. Yeah. So at night time, it's not that I'm less tired. I guess it is that I'm less tired. Like I, I get to sleep fine, it's not mm. like I'm lying there awake for ages. I just don't sleep, like the actual quality of sleep isn't uh, the same. It might not be down to energy, it might be just down to like everything that's going on, going on in the world. Maybe. It might be just down to like the anxiety, anxiety yeah. like the change of structure mm. of your life. Maybe. I bet a lot of people out there aren't really sleeping that well. Last night I was looking for, before we went to bed, I was looking for like weights to keep like, to do some like weights basically at home, like dumbbells and stuff. And they're all gone. Oh, they? Yeah. They're all, all of them are really like, it's really hard to find. So on Amazon, for some weird reason, they're either the right stupidly expensive, like I'm talking about like 300 pounds for a mm. set, which is ridiculous. Or they're just rubbish, like ones where you just put water in them and stuff like that. And mm. It's really hard to find a good pair of dumbbells. That's really weird. But I think maybe a lot of people are just like, because people are exercising from home. Yeah. We're like, right, just get by everything. Yeah, maybe. So people probably have loads of dumbbells at, at home now. I'd love to know what the weirdest thing someone's bought because of this isolation. Because some people's brains do work in strange ways. Oh yeah, like, I, like a canoe or something. Yeah, like something really weird. Yeah. I'd love to know. Well, like, like I said a couple of videos ago, I think the toilet paper thing was weirded me out. Yeah, I was just thinking that, like, are we going to look back at this and call it the, like, the toilet paper famine? Well, Andrex, you know, the people who make toilet paper, like... Yeah. And hand sanitizer. They're, they're literally printing paper. Money. I couldn't believe it. There was one day it was the day after, because I did one day of the Cinderella workshop before it all got cancelled. And I popped into the big boots in Piccadilly Circus. Um, just to get toiletries and see if I could find any hand sanitizer. And they were keeping it behind the counter. So there was like, they weren't allowing it on the shelf so that people couldn't just grab it. Yeah. So when you went up to the counter, you had to ask for hand sanitizer and then they'd give you two. And they were like 70p each. But I remember being really chuffed because loads of people were going in mm. and looking for hand sanitizer and then not finding it and leaving. That, did you see it behind the counter or did you just go? I heard someone else ask. Oh, and he didn't, yeah. the funny thing was, it was like, it, it was like every man for himself. And because the guy who he asked, he said, where's the hand sanitizer? And this guy literally was like, didn't say anything just in case someone overheard. But I'm stood behind one of the shelves like that. <laughs> this is the thing. Like, we're watching Walking Dead at the moment, and I've seen most of it. 
so I know what's yeah. what goes on. And we're getting there where I, what, what my point's gonna be now, so I feel like I'm not spoiling anything. In a, in a disaster, uh, in, in say for example Walking Dead, mm. the zombies everywhere, it gets to the point where the real villains and the real people uh, who are like the ones you need to worry about, it's not the, it's not yeah. the zombies, it's the pe other people trying to survive, yeah. they're, they're the worst. They're more dangerous. They're more dangerous, like, and obviously this is like well, jokes, but it is the sort of thing of like, what we're going through now, it's not so much the illness, it's like people not staying indoors, for example, yeah. or them just buying all the food. So well, no it, one has food. And it's like that idiot who, um, there, there was a video that went around on the internet of this idiot in a supermarket, like licking yeah, all yeah. the deodorants and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, it's actually the, it's actually the people who, yeah. who are actually the worst. It's just the people, people who were down to like spreading it. Yeah. Who were just being thoughtless and careless and idiotic. Yeah, it's crazy, right? But I always find that interesting about Walking Dead, like, that is actually true, like, the, the villains and the, and the people, or, or the people who, like, actually do the most damage mm. are actual people who are living, who are surviving, but they do it because they're... Scared. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. I made breakfast yesterday. You did. After do, doing the, uh, this first vlog. Yeah, it was good. I made, I made my first hash brown, which is pretty easy to make, but... I feel like I've got the ratios wrong and I want to do it again now. But now I've done it. It's like anything really. Yeah. It's like making like your first pancake, I guess. Yeah. Or your first omelette or whatever. It's like, about making pancakes. Like I now, because I, I made it, tasted it. Because I, mean, I made it, pretty, it's pretty simple. But just like the ratios and stuff. And yeah, I definitely want to do it again. Yeah, so it was like, if anyone wants to make hash brown, this is what I did. Grated potato. Grated onion. Uh, you have to squeeze all, all the moisture out as much as possible because then it will get soggy. You don't want a soggy hash brown. Yeah. A bit of Cajun. Was it Cajun? I can't remember what it was. No, cayenne, cayenne pepper. So a bit of spice. Salt and pepper. In the pan. So this is where I went. I'm not wrong, but I just had too much mixture, I think, for our pan because our pan's not that big. Mm -hmm. um, flip it. That's pretty much it. And then I put my eggs on top. What else did I do? Oh, then I put bacon. I put bacon with a bit of sugar on it. Sugary bacon. Ooh, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I might make pancakes today. You're up for that? Yes, pancakes. Like American ones. Yeah. That sounds good. What are you gonna put with them though? Chocolate chips. <laughs> Chocolate chips. Right, everyone. Time to go. And do our things. Have a good day. Episode 16. Oh my god. 16 of these! It's gonna be the longest series ever. I hope not. Well, I like it. Right, bye! Bye! <laughs>